Well, Chicago bracing for yet another round of pro-Palestinian protests as the Democratic National Convention gets underway. This was the scene last night, and it's expected to play out again today in even bigger numbers. Groups working with both the city of Chicago, local police, and the DNC organizers to make sure their message gets out while still trying to operate within the confines of the law. News Nation's Alex Capriello joins us with the details. So, Alex, what do we know about these groups protesting now at the DNC? Yeah, we're standing right here at Union Park. It's about a half a mile away from the United Center where the DNC is taking place. And this is essentially headquarters for the coalition to march on the DNC. We're about 40 minutes out from when the official programming and protesting begins. But look at this, Kelly. You can see hundreds of people are already filed into this park. Hundreds, perhaps thousands more are expected to come within the next few hours because the march officially kicks off at about 2 p.m. Central. It's been a back and forth fight, Kelly, between the coalition and the city of Chicago in order to even have this. Like take, for example, only three days ago, that sound system, that stage wasn't even allowed by the city of Chicago, but the coalition has been fighting every single day, tooth and nail, to try to get their way so that way they can amplify their voices. Now, who exactly is protesting here? It is an assortment of groups, more than 200 in fact. They all have various causes. The number one cause that they're fighting is pro-Palestinian. They want to end the genocide in the Gaza Strip. They want Israel to end, but also, like I said, other causes like this sign, money for jobs, school, healthcare, housing and environment, justice, peace and equality, defend LGBTQIA+, plus reproductive rights, this is a number of organizations that are out here, and they built thousands of signs. In total, I'm told about 7,000 signs. They say they are mobilized by this effort. Of course, they all have their individual causes, but mostly it's the anti-war effort in the Middle East. Take a listen to a press conference earlier today. But all these other communities and all these other nationalities and all these other religions and age groups are here to say the same thing, that this is the Vietnam War of our generation. In the late 60s, early 70s, hundreds of thousands, millions of people in, in the United States were in the streets to stop that war. And besides the Vietnam, Vietnamese people themselves and the resistance, the United States anti-war movement played a large role. And so we are, it's incumbent upon us to do the same thing here. And this coalition has been very successful in gathering as many people as possible. There's groups from over 21 different states, plus global countries, an organization that came all the way from Canada. They had buses flowing all day today, some from the Midwest, like uh, Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin, and everyone is prepared to march on the DNC. We're told somewhere between 10 to 30,000. Of course, we'll see if those are inflated numbers, if it truly pans out to be that many. But as of right now, Kelly, at least a couple hundred here right now, with more expected on the way. Wow, appreciate that comprehensive look, Alex. So what can you share about how law enforcement is now ramping up efforts to try to keep the peace there? Yeah, Kelly, as you know, I've been covering this for several weeks now, listening to every single press conference from CPD, from the United States Secret Service and other federal partners that are out here. They're saying they are going to do everything they can to not only protect this city as they are sworn to do, but also to protect the First Amendment rights of these protesters. And that involves a lot of police in order to make sure that they can keep the peace. If you take a look at some of these pictures, this is from the weekend where you see more than 300 law enforcement from all across Illinois, also parts of Wisconsin, were brought into Chicago. Uh, Superintendent Larry Gary Snelling deputized them all at once. They are going to be in charge of mostly patrolling, um, sorry, mostly protecting the peace of the protest, while the CPD is in charge of patrolling throughout the city and the suburban neighborhoods. Of course, we're going to see a lot of activity both on the land and in the sky. Military helicopters already flying around the DNC. We know that they have a very important guest coming later today, President Joe Biden. Kelly. Absolutely. We'll be checking back in. Alex Capriello, thank you. Thanks for watching. Go to joinnn.com to find News Nation on your screen. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of News Nation's fact driven, unbiased coverage.